And finally in sport tonight, she's the sporting pioneer way ahead of her time. In 1972, Ursula Carlisle became the first Australian woman to coach swimming at the Olympic level. Well, in April next year, she'll join her late husband, Forbes Carlisle, in the Sports International Hall of Fame. In tonight's special feature, we talk to the 83-year-old who's still making a difference. A suburban pool is also the home to a name synonymous with Australian swimming. In April next year, Ursula Carlyle will join her late husband Forbes in the International Hall of Fame. The honour coming almost half a century after he was inducted. I was absolutely delighted and amazed because I know how significant it is having seen various induction ceremonies over the years and of course Forbes was inducted in I think 76. The couple revolutionised swimming in the 1950s. Their scientific research involved the use of pace clocks, interval training and heart rates, all things now commonly used around the world. But that elite focus was only paid for by their swim schools. We showed that you could make a living, a sustainable living, by, from coaching if you had learned to swim in, along with it. Her personal high point though was the 1972 Olympics and Shane Gould's five medals, three of them gold. Shane's um, exploits at Munich would, would have to be the highlight because she was so exceptionally good. These days though, Ursula is solely focused on the grassroots level and many new parents don't initially realise how much of a national treasure she is. And we tell them what she has achieved and what she's still doing in the sport. She's still involved. She still goes and watches our coaching on deck every day. So it's extremely inspirational. The numbers of children benefiting from the school speaks for itself. In this little pool here, which is very small, it's well over a thousand a week. And then we've got nine swimming schools. So you multiply by nine and so it's a lot, <laughs> definitely a lot. To swim well is an asset for life is a famous Carlisle saying. Five decades on, those words still resonate as strongly as ever. John Baldock, SBS World News.